London Bridge redevelopment is really important for network rail um, because London Bridge is a real bottleneck on the Thameslink route, uh, services that run between the south coast and up as far as Bedford and in the future will go to Cambridge and Peterborough, all have to battle through London Bridge Station and at the moment in the peak periods, although 84 trains an hour travel uh, into and around London Bridge Station, in the peak periods only one Thameslink train is able to battle its way through that congested bottleneck. So we're completely rebuilding at the London Bridge station to allow up to 16 trains an hour off the Thameslink route uh, through that station. Uh, the most challenging part of the Thameslink programme so far is really what we're doing at the moment and for the next four years and that is completely re rebuilding London Bridge station. Um, the challenge for us is over a million people a week use the station. Uh, we have to keep it open uh, and we have to run all the services that use that station whilst we completely rebuild it. All the platforms, all the circulating areas and concourse space. Uh, so we're doing that um, by taking out two platforms at a time. Uh, we've just opened the new platforms 14 and 15 and currently we have platforms 12 and 13 out of use and a big work site there where we're rebuilding new, new platforms. The team working around London Bridge uh, is working as a collaborative team, so we call it the London Bridge Area Partnership uh, and the suppliers are working with Network Rail in a combined team, uh, best person for each job, so we don't have the man marking that used to go with traditional contracting approach. Um, and also all of the suppliers of all the different disciplines are cooperating together um, because we have some very complex interaction between um, work uh, strengthening the structures of the bridges for example, uh, the track that then goes on those bridges, the signalling system that then signals the trains through that area. Um, and we're rebuilding the station as well. So all of the contractors, civil engineering, track engineering, signalling engineering, all working together with Network Rail uh, to deliver that uh, programme of work. In the next 12 months, our key milestones uh, at London Bridge Station, for example, are the opening of all of the terminating platforms. So we're changing the station configuration from uh, nine terminating platforms and six through lines to make it six terminating platforms and nine through lines, giving that extra capability for Thameslink services to run through the station. Uh, the next major milestone for us at London Bridge is in December 14, when we open all six of the terminating platforms, and that will essentially be the end of the major works for the low-level terminating platform part of the station. So it's a really major milestone for us. Elsewhere on the network in March uh, 15, we have uh, the opening of the connection between uh, the Midland Main Line and the East Coast Main Line, which is what we call canal tunnels that run between um, the St Pancras area and the lines out of King's Cross. And that gives us the connectivity to get trains through uh, to service Peterborough and Cambridge. Uh, for me, I think my favourite station uh, on the Thames Inc programme delivered so far is Blackfriars. Uh, and that's really because it's really transformed that station. I used to use it uh, previously and it was uh, cold, dark, open to the elements um, and uh, not really uh, a station you'd want to be using, uh, frankly. Now uh, we've got a fully covered station built on a bridge over the River Thames perfect and brilliant views of uh, the City of London uh, at St Paul's Cathedral and up and down the river. So whilst you're waiting for your train at Blackfriars, there can't be a better place really. <laughs>